AI is changing rapidly would be an understatement, right? It's uh, first of all, it's been here for a long time. It is not a novel uh, technology or mechanism. I think what has changed is the general public's ability to access it, as well as in, in medicine and, and cardiology specifically, but really medicine in general, the sheer amount of data we have is different now than it used to be. In the 1970s and 80s, we could go to the medical library, look up textbooks and look at a few journals and understand a disease process to the best of our ability. We know so much more now, which is great, but as a result, for the human brain to be able to take in all the data about what's the most recent research about this disease, what does this specific patient have? What does their electronic health record tell me? What do their wearables tell me? How are they feeling? What are their drivers of health and their social determinants of health? To take in all that information and be able to make meaning of it in a 20 minute visit with a patient, that's really hard. That may actually be too much for the human brain to be able to do. And so the role of AI in my mind is demanded by the abundance of data that we now have. And what we're really trying to do is we're trying to allow clinicians to use their clinical acumen and give them all the information in the best way possible to have them make good decisions for and with their patients. And so I think AI has been a journey, but now we're at a point where there is so much more that we can do that we need some computing power beyond the human brain to help get us started and then we use our clinical acumen, right? To supersede that and say, okay, I agree with this. I don't agree with that part of this for this reason or for that. The most important part of AI to me is the feedback loop. We don't stop with, hey, the AI worked or didn't, but that doesn't help anybody. We have to get into the mode of saying, this AI offered me these things. I found this helpful. I found this less helpful, or I think we should correct this and really analyze what we're doing. I think that's the future of AI is the infrastructure for feedback and mechanisms for feedback while clinically practicing. We don't really have that right now. And so that's something we need to create. I can't wait to see what happens over the next decades as these young individuals are then the ones who are creating the governance, understanding the feedback. And I'm really hopeful. Um, I'm learning a ton from talking to younger people now. I make sure it's a part of what I do every day uh, because just the way that they can inherently grow up in this technology and understand it is different than having us as adults learn it. And so I just, I tell everybody, please look at the younger generation. When I say younger, I mean all the way down to fifth grade. Um, they really, they really understand how these things work. So. Um, take advantage of the fact that you might have them around your house or in your neighborhood and, uh, and start asking. I think you'll learn a lot about different ways to think about AI moving forward. But I think if we put the guardrails on now, if we have governance, if we have mechanisms to measure and iterate, we will set it up in a way that when the generations who really grew up in this know how to use it, um, they're going to be able to fly.